In this video tutorial, I'll show you where you can find a range of built-in tools to support learning when you use Microsoft Word Online via Glow. Word Online is Microsoft's online version of Word, which works in a web browser and is part of the larger Office 365 suite of products. Word Online requires an internet connection and can be accessed via the Office 365 tile on the Glow Launchpad. A benefit of using Word Online is that you can access Word Online at home on any device by logging in with your Glow account details. This means you can complete homework activities or continue work started in school without having to transfer files from one device to another. I'm using a Windows laptop and I'm logged in through Glow to access Word Online. Built into Word Online is a literacy support tool called Immersive Reader. A main feature of Immersive Reader is that it allows you to focus on single words as they're read out loud. The background text is greyed out or darkened, allowing you to focus on one word at a time, thereby supporting fluency, comprehension, word recognition and focus. To switch it on, go to the document toolbar and click on View and Immersive Reader. With the text now opening up in Immersive Reader, I can click on the play arrow at the bottom to have the text read out loud. The Pits They are first mentioned in written records in AD 297, before the Roman conquest of Britain. To the right of the play arrow, I can click on the settings icon to choose either male or female voice, or to adjust the voice speed. At the top right side of the page, you will see the double A icon, which I can click on for text preferences. Here, I can change the size of the text using this slider. I can toggle on increased spacing, which can help some people read more fluently. And I can further personalise the page by changing the font and to make the page background a different colour under themes. Under grammar options, I can toggle on this button here, which splits the words into syllables, which provides a powerful decoding strategy. And I can choose to highlight nouns, verbs and adjectives in the suggested colour or from any colour in the drop down. In reading preferences, line focus is a useful tool for people who find their eyes can drift to the line above or below when reading text or listening to text being read out loud. You can either have one or three line focus switched on. It can improve readability, concentration, and reading speed. The name Pict is from the Latin Pictus meaning painted. Picture Dictionary provides board maker symbol support for certain words in the body of the text. Picture Dictionary aids reading and comprehension by seeing and hearing a word at the same time. Name. It uses a bank of online board maker symbols and there's no requirement to have any additional software installed. The Translate tool allows you to translate the text into more than 60 languages. Toggle on the Buy Word option, then click on a word in the text to see and hear the translated word and the English word as well. I'm going to choose Polish for this demonstration. Written. Napisane. Painted. 
malowane. You can also have the whole document translated. You can then click on the play arrow at the bottom to have the page read out loud. Dikty. Po raz pierwszy są one wymienione w pisemnych zapisach w ad 297 przed rzymskim podbojem Wielkiej Brytanii. Some languages will have the picture dictionary symbols available. Consider using line focus, picture dictionary, themes and text-to-speech in combination for a multi-sensory and inclusive reading experience. If you need support with spelling, you can use the editor to correct the misspelled words with the red squiggly underline. It can be helpful to use the autocorrect feature in Word Online. Go to Review, then Editor, and click on the drop down arrow to find the autocorrect options. With the Replace Text as You Type option ticked, misspelt words will be automatically corrected. Another way to support spelling and writing is to use your voice to speak the words and the text appears on the page. In this Word Online document, you have speech recognition built in, and you can either use a headset with a microphone or use the built in microphone on the device you're using. Go to the Home tab, and on the right hand side, click on the Dictate icon. When you click on the microphone, the computer starts listening for you to speak. Under the Settings cog, Make sure the input language is set to English UK and it's useful to tick the box for auto punctuation. When you click on the microphone and start speaking, the words will then appear on the page. I can use this dictate feature in Word Online to get my ideas and thoughts down on paper quickly and easily. I don't have to worry about spelling. If I'm reading a web page and also working on a Word Online document, I could use the split screen option for optimum productivity. Click on the title bar of the Word Online document and drag it to one side of the display until the mouse pointer touches the edge. When that happens, you should see the screen briefly flash in a light outline of where the window will appear on the screen. The Word Online document should now be snapped to the side of the screen and you should see all the other open programs on the opposite side. Click on the website that you're working on and it will dock to the left hand side of the screen. I can copy and paste text from the web page into my Word Online document. And I can use the Immersive Reader option to hear the text read out loud on the web page by clicking on the book icon here. When did the Anglo-Saxons come to Britain? And in the Word Online document, I can use the View Immersive Reader option to have the text read out loud. In the AD 400s, towards the end of Roman rule, Britain was being attacked by the Picts and Scots from the north. Lots of good accessibility features in Microsoft Word Online to help support learning.